Right now, we want to turn our attention back to Governor Abbott's plan to begin rebuilding a border wall. He says he wants to pick up where the Trump administration left off. Now, legally, the process could get pretty complicated. Brandon Lewis from our Verify team uh, explains whether the state has the authority to build its own wall. Every mile of border wall between the U.S. and Mexico was put there by the federal government. But new construction stopped day one that President Joe Biden took office. Now Texas wants to pick up where the Trump administration left off. I will announce next week the plan for the state of Texas to begin building the border wall in the state of Texas. So let's verify. Can states build their own border wall? Our sources are a law professor at George Mason University and a property rights attorney who says in Texas it would start with them having to buy private land. Trump administration's efforts really never got off the ground. I'm not aware that they ever were able to, to acquire any of the land needed for the new border wall that they needed. That's because it's notoriously difficult to obtain. Much of it is privately owned, and some property owners sued the federal government over its use of eminent domain. What the feds already own is unlikely to be turned over to Texas. It could be argued that this is interfering with the federal government's control of immigration policy. He points out Arizona trying to enforce federal immigration laws 10 years ago and lost a case to the Obama administration. Plus, even if Texas did manage to get the land, it must follow strict rules and regulations to build on it that the federal government could have bypassed. They can uh, waive all of the environmental regulations that otherwise would be a minefield for someone trying to implement a project like this. The state of Texas cannot do that. So it's technically true. States can build their own border wall, but there are a lot of big hurdles to overcome. In Texas, the state would have to acquire land and win a likely lawsuit against the federal government since they usually have jurisdiction over international migration issues. Along the U.S.-Mexico border, I'm Brandon Lewis with your Verified Report.